hey, I just want to get vulnerable with you guys and talk to you for a minute. And I hope you guys watch this whole video because I might say something that may provide some sort of clarification for you, whether it's at the beginning, middle, or the end. Just stay through this with me, okay? So one thing I want to tell you guys is I know you guys have been seeing a lot of my videos lately on Facebook, and I want you guys to know that it takes a lot of vulnerability. I need to be really vulnerable to be doing something like this. It's it's hard, and um, I've had to have a lot of people push me and say, Janae, you have some knowledge, and you need to share it with the world. And for the longest time, I have been pushing it off, and I've been telling myself, well, you know, I'm scared. What if people do this and that? But you know what, you guys? I've learned to not care. And I'm putting myself out here because I have a passion. I love, and there is knowledge in this brain of mine that I want to share with you. So I just want to say, please have respect to those people who are doing a video. Even if it's a simple video, such as a workout video, be kind to those people. They are being vulnerable by putting that video out there because they know that someone is going to look and scroll past that video and think, oh, she's doing a workout video again. But you guys, just remember, when you have those thoughts, what kind of courage it takes to do these things, okay? Have you tried doing a video? Have you tried putting yourself out there? Think about that. So next time, be kind. Think good thoughts. Give some love. Um, now, I want to tell you guys a little something. I want to tell you why I'm doing this, why I am sharing health videos, health tips, um, just why I'm doing this. Now, I didn't used to be healthy. Um, I had a point in my life where I was feeling really sick and icky, and I was going to doctors a lot. Well, then I decided to go to school and I got my certifications in herbology, aromatherapy, and nutrition. So, you guys, I learned most of what I know now by doing extra research, obviously from school, but more importantly from doing more research and applying what I learned to myself and to my, for my family. So, a lot of the things that I do and I teach you guys is because I've already done it and I use it in my life every single day. And I've seen how it's helped me and my family. And I want to share that with you. Now, I really feel that Heavenly Father put me in that position, made me feel icky. And I was eating really bad. And I didn't know that. Um, he, but he put me in this position so I could heal myself. He knew that I would take the proper steps and that I was going to be open to what I needed to do to heal myself and to learn. And that he knew that I would have the courage to share what I know with you guys. And so I'm grateful for those couple of years where I just felt like crap. Now, I want to tell you guys what I believe. I believe food can either be the strongest form of medicine or the s slowest form of poison. Now, there's a really good quote out there from Anne Wigmore. I believe it's she's the one that said that. And I truly believe that, you guys. And I saw that in my own life those years ago when I wasn't feeling well. And I ditched the poison. Now, every once in a while, I have it. <laughs> okay? We can't live perfectly, right? But... Um, if we're doing what we can and doing what we know, then we will feel better and healthier. And I'm, and I'm grateful that I learned that for myself. Um, I believe that our bodies have the capability and ability to heal themselves. If you get rid of the poison, our bodies can heal. And I am a testimony of that feeling and of that life. And there's so many people out there that have, that have been able to do the same thing. Just like when you get a cut on your arm, I like to use this example, a cut on your finger, a cut anywhere. Your body naturally heals itself without even thinking about it. But you've got to keep that cut clean, right? You've got to get rid of the bacteria in there, the, the, the one thing that's keeping it from healing. And then your body, without even doing anything, it heals. It's the same thing with our bodies. We need to just be open to trying to live a healthier and happier life. And then our bodies can heal itself. Now, so I truly believe that. And I truly believe that Heavenly Father put these amazing plants out in the world for a reason. Now, maybe someday, who knows, there may not be access to medications or pharmaceuticals. But guess what, you guys? We will always have plants. We will make, you might in your backyard have a mint plant in your backyard or lemons. And there's so many medicinal properties to that that will help boost and strengthen your immune systems. Um... 
Now, I want to talk to you guys about some MLM companies out there. MLM, sorry. I've seen some people do stories and posts about how, and on my wall, of course, um, saying that we're do using scare tactics. You guys, I am going to apologize for whoever is making you feel scared. But guess what? I want to tell you something. A lot of these MLM companies, and I'm going to speak for my MLM company, Young Living, we are sharing our products with you with a passion. Now, unfortunately, and also fortunately, these awesome products that we have only come from an MLM company. Now, if you could say, hey, you know, Janae, I want some awesome essential oils, and if they didn't, if Young Living didn't exist, and there were some really amazing essential oils at the store, I'd be like, please go buy those essential oils from that store. But guess what? We don't do that, because we know friends don't let friends buy essential oils from the store. But we happen to have one of the most amazing essential oils on this planet. And you guys, me, out of all people, I research my products. I make sure I have the best. I am really, really careful about genetically modified ingredients in my food and my, my supplements and my essential oils. I do not want any of that stuff. Now, if I find an essential oil company that is not Young Living that sells amazing essential oils, I will refer you guys to that company promise you. Now, so please give them MLM companies a break. We are moms, people using these products every single day and we fall in love with them and we want to share them with you. So give us a break. Now, I don't, I'm sorry if people are using scare tactics. I don't want to do that to you, but I want to tell you I am passionate about essential oils. I feel everyone needs them in their home because when moments like this, when this gross virus thing is taking over the world, what are we going to do? What if you had natural medicine in your home that you knew how to use and you knew that it would strengthen your immune system? Wouldn't you feel better? Wouldn't you feel confident? Wouldn't you feel less scared and more prepared and that you could take care of your family? So let me tell you guys, stop giving us a hard time because we are doing what we love and we do it for our families and we know what's going to help you and better your life. Also, um, so I will tell you, there are some MLM companies from my friends that do certain things. It's not my thing, right? It's not my thing. I don't care about books or workout stuff. I work out, don't get me wrong, but it's not a company I want to be a part of. But I will support my friends that are doing it because I know that it's something that they love and they are doing it because it is a passion that they have. And I will support them and I will be kind. And I know it takes vulnerability to do these things. So guys, there's no judgment here. I don't give, I don't care how you guys live. Honestly, I don't care. You know, it's really funny because people have been <laughs> judging me this whole time about homeschooling. When I look at the world, we're all doing it together, right? It's kind of funny how that works, but I've never once judged anybody for not homeschooling, but I get it all the time. So the same thing goes for eating healthy. I get crap all the time because people think because I live differently and have a different lifestyle that I'm automatically judging you or them. Guess what? I'm not, but I do care about what you're eating. And I might think, wow, I wish that person knew what they were eating, but I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to care about you. And I love you guys. And I want you to know what's best for you. So this is why I'm doing it. Because honestly, people don't know what they're eating. People don't know what household cleaners are doing to them. It's their, you guys were all oblivious. And that's where I was 11 years ago, 10 years ago, nine years ago, I was oblivious. And there's some things that I am still oblivious about. And I learn new things every day. And guess what? That's the best we can do. We can try. We can try to do better. Once we know better, we do better, right? And the things that I know, I just happen to know through practice and the things that I've gone through. And I just want you guys to know that I love you all. And I am doing this because God has put a desire and a passion in my heart to do this and he's doing it for a reason because someone out there needs to know these things and I can't hold back I can't then I'm not fulfilling what I'm supposed to be doing and it's only helping me grow and become a better person so I support all of you who get yourselves out there and put yourselves out there now if you guys have a desire deep down inside to do something that you love and you are feeling held back because you're too scared to put yourself out there who cares do it just do it there is a reason why you have this feeling there's a reason why 
you feel that you need to you need to speak up don't let that fear keep you from doing it because you're only holding yourself back so if you guys i love you all i hope you guys took something out of this please be kind let's be kind to one another and let's not judge each other whether or not when we do things differently it's okay we can all learn from each other and that's what we need to do just be kind so there's too many bad things out in the world right now that are happening so we don't need to waste our time on you know just love one another so you guys have a wonderful day stay well and eat your fruits and vegetables and just be happy get out and get some sunshine and i'll see you guys next time bye